I cannot believe I'm telling you guys this right now. I cannot believe it. Hello guys, Mafia. It's your girl Saucy back with another banger. In today's video, as you can see by the title, this was a highly requested story time. And I'm so excited to tell you guys because this was literally mind blowing. Like, no lie, no clickbait. This is mind blowing, oh my God. Story time on how I almost lost my virginity. But this is not really, I lost my virginity type stuff. Like, like it's not like I was gonna do it. Like, it was like, almost like, like we was like in the mood and all that. No, this is a crazy story. It's still like that, but it's a crazy story. But I wasn't about to pop no, nah, 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 nah. I still got my V-card, y'all. Zal go. All right, y'all. So, if you guys are new to this channel, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. If you're not subscribed already, what are you doing? Your life is boring. Without any further ado, let's get straight into the video. I'm going to just get straight into it, y'all. So, it's my friend. We're going to call him Chicken Nuggets. We're not going to put them all out like that. So, we're not going to expose anybody. So, you know, your secret's safe with me. <laughs> so chicken nugget texts me and you know he's just my friend like literally he was just my friend that allowed we were like like literally friends yes he was handsome but me it doesn't matter if you're handsome honey i'm not finna just date anybody so i'm not that i wouldn't date I'm, okay whatever okay so chicken nugget invited me to like go to a picnic and i was like sure like that's so cool like oh my god people still do that like dudes still do that so i was like sure so then he comes to get me comes and gets me after you know i did my business you know i told him at that a lot of time i would be ready and he was like sure so he came and i got in the car you know we we talked and stuff like that it was cool and fun he went to go get us something to eat we went to go get some food and then after we ate we were going to the park right that's what i thought right so we're driving down the road and there's a park on this side and there's a field on this side like a big field with nothing there like literally nothing but there's a park right here so i'm thinking like he's like i'm just driving around trying to find a park mind you there's a park right there i'm like there's a park right here we could go right there i should have knew something was up about this so he's like i'm like there's a park right there and he's like he's like nah and he turned to the field where there was nobody at there was literally friends party frisbee soccer everything party everything like people there right there so i'm like i should have known by this but i'm like probably you just want like a long time like not really like a long time like sentimental like like a relationship but like a long time so we can talk and stuff and, like have fun together you know so i'm like okay i guess so we went to the field and i'm like so then he parks in the parking lot and i think that we're just about to get out he sits there like you know turns the car off and like turns to me so I'm like, okay, I guess he wants to talk more. So I'm like, okay, you know me? I'm just like, okay, you know. <laughs> Child. So we just talking and all, and I don't know how it started, y'all, but he was all like, let me eat you. Ooh. I'm like, huh? First of all, mind y'all, mind you guys, I had never, we had never hugged. I mean, yeah, hug like goodbye. I don't even think we hug goodbye. We have never hugged. We have never kissed. We have never got touchy touchy. We have never even like, I like you. Nothing like none of the sort has ever happened. So for you to come at me with the, let me eat you. It's like, where do you get this from? Like, like how, like even if I was on that type time, y'all, why would I jump from giving a hug to getting eaten out in the back of somebody's freaking car? Like, where, where does that correlate? We have, you have never even tried to kiss me, son? Like, come on now. I don't know. Okay, so back to the story. Like, first of all, I have to say this. Y'all, don't come at me thinking that I'm one of these girls. Like, not even one of these girls. Don't come at me thinking that I'm on that type time, y'all. Like, if I link with you, I barely link with anybody. But if I link with you, don't even try that because you will never see me again. I promise. I promise. I promise you. Literally, I am not on that type of time. Like, if you're not trying to have fun, if you're not trying to trying to create content, it's literally no point. Because, like, you're not getting nothing out of me. I'm not on that type of time. Like, I know I'm 19. I know I'm still a virgin. Like, don't do it. Like, everybody, I don't care. 
I really don't care. And I'm going to keep it until I find that right person or until I marry. Like, like, because that's what we're supposed to do in the first place. But, you know, if I find that person, I know we're going to stay together. And, like, period. Then I might make an exception. I just claim. But anyways, I haven't. So I'm not. Back to the story. <laughs> So he's like, let me eat you, like, so bold. Like, I like that he's bold, but, honey, that's not what we do. That's not what we do because I don't like a, like, you know, around the bush, like, beat around the bush type of person. I like the person that, you know, gets straight to it, but, honey, that's not what we do. So then he literally gets out the front seat and gets in the back of the seat. Like, he goes, like, he gets out and goes in the back, and I'm like, I look in the back, and I'm like, are you pranking me? Like, this is like, feels like a prank. This gotta be a prank. I'm looking around like, you're pranking me. Where's the camera? Like, you're funny. So then he's like, you know I'm not on that YouTube type stuff. I'm like, so you're serious. Tell me why. Tell me why. I said, I said, um, no, this is not. I don't feel comfortable with, I don't feel comfortable with this at all. I look back again and he has his stuff out. Like, his stuff is out. Like, literally like pulled out and i'm like what are you finna do with that i knew i should have played this better but i don't know i just do like so like he was my friend like i felt comfortable with him like to go somewhere with him you know so like i still feel comfortable with him don't don't get me wrong but it was awkward so back to the story so he has his stuff out and i'm like what are you doing with that he's like you know, like, it's so weird. I'm like, just, yeah, this is not. He was like, if you don't feel comfortable doing anything. Wait, why did he have his stuff out in the first place if he was trying to eat me? This is why. Holy. Wait, was he trying to get? Yeah, honey. He was all off the grid with this one, y'all. All off the grid. What? If you trying to eat me, why could your thing out? Why are you out if you don't even, mm, you know, you know what I mean? Like, honey, no, no. So then he sees that I wasn't going for it. So Chicken Nugget tries to like change the subject. And he's like, you want to play football? And I was like, yeah, trying to change the subject as well. So I'm like, you know, because you know me, I'm not going to be out there playing no football. But I got out there and I played that football. Like, you know, he taught me some good old moves. So if any of y'all want to see me out there, we can literally get in the field. But anyways, yeah, it was just, like, so awkward and, like, crazy. Like, I couldn't even comprehend what was going on. So, we had a good time, um, basketball, you know, football playing. And then um, he dropped me off and he's like, I'm going to text you when, you know, I get home. He never texted me. So, I guess he was mad about the situation. But if he did text me, I wouldn't have texted him back. So, it was a kind of good thing that he did that. But anyways, y'all, that was my story. Hope you guys all enjoyed. If you guys want any more story times from me, all you have to do is like this video and comment down below and I will get that right to you. Comment down red hearts and fire emojis if you guys want me to drop more story times. All right. Remember to always stay a drip down to the socks like I'm Biggie. Keep your girl hit in my tummy box.